Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one, we're going to show you how to create a an alternative to using sidechain compression, and it's it's pretty much a, an auto pan trick, and um, that um, tricks the ear into thinking the sidechain compression is happening when it's it's not really, but it is uh, a very similar form. It's just dipping the volume for you, and uh, I would use it quite a lot when just sort of generating ideas, and I don't want to set up the whole sidechain compression thing, or if I'm trying to save on CPU usage, or just just generally uh, messing about, I would I would throw this in instead of having to set everything up. So here it is. Um, I've got a, a synth stab here. I'm just going to play this round. And then we've got our kick drum. And obviously we would like the kick drum to sidechain compress that, but if you don't want to go through the rigmarole of selecting your kick drum and yada yada, we just uh, go into our live devices on the left, go up to the audio effects, and just grab an auto pan and drop it on the synth track that we've got. Turn the amount up to 100 and then turn the, um, just down at the bottom left here, the rate type, you want to set it to the, the note um, so that it's synced with our um, project. And then we want to set the rate to a quarter. And then this most important part is this phase. So basically, it's, it'll sit at 180, which means it swings back and forth every quarter note between the left and the right ear. If we turn the phase to either 360 or zero, it will just um, throw the right and the left ear together. So instead of going off to the right, it will just go um, down to zero and there'll be no sound coming out. So this is the picture we have here. So every time there's a quarter note, our volume will be dipping. And then we just adjust this by using the offset control and the shape control will also adjust how sharp the actual um, auto or the uh, the sighting compression sounds to the ear. So if we play this round now, you can hear it's slightly, just slightly wrong. So we can play about with this, move the offset. So you can hear that sounds more like it now. And if we can change the shape as well, And then obviously the amount here is how hard that is actually, or um, the volume's dipping. Um, so what we could do is we could actually rename these so we could have sidechain on. And we could rename this one to sidechain off. Uh, if we double click, go to the envelope and select our auto pan. Um, from this channel, we can go to the amount section. So sidechain off, so we can just draw in our off note. And then in the on one, if we go in, select our amount and make sure that it is at 100%. And that'll play around. So then you get that sort of sidechain effect going on and we can easily save this um, down as sidechain effect. And then we can just drop that onto any more tracks that we create. So if we've got another MIDI track, you can easily just drop that effect in and we've automatically got um, the sidechain compression sitting there. Another quick way of uh, doing a, a trick with this here, as opposed to having it on each individual clip, which means that you've got to actually go in and you've got to set this up. So every time you record something, you need to go in and change the sidechain on or the sidechain off. So, you know, it can get a wee bit fiddly. And what we can do is use a dummy clip. And this is actually covered in a previous tech tip. So if you want to go and have a look at the dummy clip one, um, this will explain it in a bit more detail. So I'm just going to add in an audio track here, and this will be our sidechain. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep it quite basic. If you want to see a bit more advanced um, part on this, again, go and have a look at the, the dummy clip tech tip.
So we've got our synth here. So I'm just going to rename this back to synth and rename this to synth as well. So this way we don't have to actually apply the sidechain or turn the sidechain on and off with our um, synth part. So I'm going to send our synth to this channel with the sidechain. I'm going to select monitor in on that sidechain. And I'm going to delete the auto pan. And I'm just going to bring in a couple of clips here. So I'm just going to drag in um, a clip here and I'm going to set it to loop. And I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to rename this one to off. I'm going to rename this one to on. So we've got our side chain off and we've got our side chain on. And with our side chain on, what we want to do is make sure this channel actually has this side chain um, effect that we have. So if we go to the auto pan, click and drag and drop it on there. So we're going to set it to about 70 or 80% or so. And then if we go to our side chain off, go to the envelopes, select our auto pan amount which we've got there already. So we want this off, so we just delete that. And then if we go to the on section, again, we go to our auto pan amount and make sure that that's at 100. So it'll be 100% of what is set in our amount section. So now if we play this round. So now we get this side chain happening um, whenever the side chain on um, button is actually playing. So again, you can bring this into arrangement mode and use it in there as well. Um, but it's more sort of handy for um, live performance um, where you can have your side chain coming on and off if you want. So again, uh, do check out the dummy clip uh, tech tip if you're interested in this part of it. And uh, I hope the auto pan part helps you out if you've got any CPU usage or whatever that's going overboard on your system. Okay, so I'll see you again in the next tutorial.